Josh, Coach Mack was just talking about the fourth down stop on Saturday and, and talked about it being a, a moment where the team grew up. Did you feel like that as a player on defense in that moment? Uh, yeah, I felt like it. Uh, it was exciting to see the other guys make plays. And it, it was just exciting to see everybody rise up, you know, when uh, you know, we really needed it, when the game was on the line. So it was, it was you know, I thought it was a time where the team was growing up. You yourself seem to be playing much better as these weeks have progressed. How would you evaluate your progress throughout this season? Uh, it's getting better. Um, you know, I didn't start off the season how I wanted to and uh, how I should have. You know, I didn't live up to the, my expectations as well as others. But as the season's going on, I'm getting better and better. You know, uh, more guys are getting better, so uh, I'm getting less playing time. So it's allowing others to, to see the field more and, and uh, that, so we can all be more fresh. And I think that's a big part of uh, why we're playing a little bit, a little bit better up front. Josh, you uh, you played against some of the uh, Washington offensive linemen last year, and coach described them as huge. Could you just describe uh, your thoughts on that group and what challenges they present this week? Yeah, uh, some of those guys didn't play last year, but this year it looks like they just got bigger. You know, they have a. a a guard at, who looks like he's like 400 pounds, so about six eight. So, you know, it'll be fun. It, it's a challenge, but it'll be fun to go against those those guys. Josh, can you guys work on finishing games, or is that just something that's going to have to evolve and and uh, take more experience and, and more reps? Um, I think it's something we can work on, especially at practice. You know, with finishing plays during team periods and and compete periods when we go against our one offense and one defense. So I think it's something we can work on, and uh, as well as uh, the younger guys growing up, and then they're going to start finishing. And uh, I think it's just everything we do, even in the weight room, finishing reps, finishing all the lifts and sprints and stuff like that. Josh, after struggling against USC, just the defense as a whole struggling against USC, how big was it for you guys mentally to come back and pretty much save that game against UCLA? And how much, how important is it going forward to perform well against Washington? Uh, it was good. It was something uh, we talked about all week during practice, was uh, to put the USC game behind us and just uh, look look ahead because UCLA is a good team. They had a really good offense, and uh, it felt good to see the defense just rise up and and make the stop. Obviously, you guys have an early game again uh, the day after Halloween. Do you have any plea to your fellow students to uh, come out and support you guys, even though it's early? Oh uh, yeah, you know I know it's a big holiday, especially on this campus. You know, there's a lot of activities to do on Friday, especially on Halloween. But it should be nice to have the fans out there for support. You know, they really support us in uh, this last this last weekend overtime. So it was good to have them there and uh, help us build our momentum. You know, going throughout the game. Josh, the the uh, the stop you guys got late in the game that Coach McIntyre was talking about. Why did that happen this time when it hasn't happened in you know previous in instances? Uh, I just feel like the guys uh, really wanted to win this game. You know, like Coach mentioned, sometimes later in the season some guys start to give up. They start uh, not playing as hard, but a lot of guys believed, and you know we talked about on the sideline before the play that this was the. Uh, this could be a turning point in the season for us as a whole defense and as a team.